okay so what is data model in mdg terminology what is all about the data model okay so any questions still here before we get into the data model topic okay if no questions so let's discuss the first topic in mdg is something called data model okay so now uh, what happens is let's say for example this is your sap system okay so this is your sap system it can be your uh, the ecc version or it can be your s4 system any any sap system okay now i wanted to use this system for don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video my master data governance purpose that is nothing but for my mdg activities where i wanted to create my master data now for this one what we do as we discussed we will be enabling the mdg business functions so that mdg functionality also can be used in the same system so this system now has two components one is your uh, ecc component or s4 component on top of that one it also has your mdg components as well so now you can use this system for your master data purpose since it's an uh, uh, ecc or uh, uh, s4 system right let's say for example this is your erp system where your logistics module is available when i say logistics module like your mm or sd so all those modules uh, finance all those we call uh, uh, club we call it as a erp system right so you have all these modules in this system so that means uh, materials you how uh, materials also we can create in this particular system forget about uh, your mdg component for a minute i'm just talking about your normal erp system sap erp system so here you have respect to tables uh, to store your master data at this level right so uh, th this can be your uh, 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 mara table and this is your marci table so likewise you have all the bunch of uh, erp tables which will store your respect to master data if it is a uh, mm material management what are the tables that are there so like mara is one table then marci then uh, mvke makt makt and then you also have something called uh, uh, mbew mbew so likewise these tables are related to your material master similarly there are other tables are also there similarly for customer master you have kna1 likewise you will have some customer master related tables for vendor master it is lfa1 lfb1 so likewise all the tables that are all available as part of your erp layer this is where your master data gets stored if you wanted to create a material you log in you go to mm01 transaction and you maintain the material related all the views and then your material will get once you hit the save button material will get created into this particular table okay so now when i add mdg layer to this particular sap system okay so then here as part of mdg uh, it creates something called uh, uh, staging tables staging tables staging tables okay so this stage here you will have mdg specific tables okay so these tables we call it as a staging tables okay so you already have as part of your erp respect to master data erp tables and when you enable mdg component this bunch of staging tables will get created it automatically gets created these tables now what is the purpose of these tables these staging tables okay so let me draw this again this is your mdg layer this is the only one single system i'm uh, okay so this is your uh, uh, e, uh, erp or ecc layer okay so you have your uh, uh, ecc erp tables here and the staging tables are also available here now in mdg okay so let's say for example let me show you in the system quickly
It's taking some time to respond. Okay. So uh, once that system is available, uh, I'll show you in the system. So what happens is uh, here in ERP layer, you log in, you go to MM01 transaction and create a material. So the material gets created into the respective tables. Via MDG, you have certain MDG UI applications to create a material or any master data. So user will log into this particular application and uh, he'll create a material. He'll enter all the data that is required. Uh, so he'll enter all the data and once he submit that request. So this is a material creation scenario only. Okay, similarly, how you are creating material using MM01 uh, in MDG user will- Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Login and he will actually enter the data. He submit the request. So then what happens is this particular data first gets stored into your staging table. Okay, it won't directly uh, get stored into your ERP table. First, the data gets stored into your staging table. Now, after that, uh, assume that there will be another user will log in. Another user means, uh, uh, for example, once you submit this request, it goes to approver and approver will log in and approval will open that record that exists when he opened the UI application uh, to review that material data. So system will uh, show this particular, the data that is already available in your staging record that will be opened for the approver and approver will review the data. If there are any changes are required, he will do some more changes and again, he will approve that request. Then again, that uh, the recent updates will get stored into the same staging table. So, and uh, finally, steward or some person. Okay. So once the person log in and he review and finally, uh, he will, there is something called the activation process. So once he activates that particular request, so that is the time what happens is the record that uh, is already available in your staging table that will actually get stored into your actual ERP tables. So that means you have a temporary storage area or storage tables, which we call this uh, uh, staging tables, staging tables, and the records will get initially stored into the staging table. And until all the workflow is completed and the activation process is initiated, till then the data will be available in your staging table only. And then once the activation process is initiated for that record, that is the time the record will actually move from your staging table to the active uh, uh, This area we call it as an active area. Your ERP tables we call it as an active area. This is like your inactive tables or inactive records. Inactive. 